Hi, I'm Stefan Roest. I work at Borealis at our Circle Economy Solutions team. And today I'm going to explain you a little bit about mass balance. For our circular solutions, we are using mass balance to feed sustainable or circular feedstocks in our production assets. And today I'm going to explain you how that actually works. So uh, what I have here is a, a big bowl which represents our production facility and is already filled with um, white pellets which represent fossil feedstock. And I have these green pellets uh, which represent the sustainable or circular feedstock. Um, we need to make sure it is um, uh, complying to the same quality standards as we have for the fossil feedstock. So we do that by, for example, using uh, renewable naphtha instead of fossil naphtha, or in case of uh, chemical recycling, we are upgrading the uh, uh, res uh, chemical recycling oil to a uh, level that we can feed it into the production facilities. Those quality checks are also helpful because it means that all the products that are produced afterwards are at the same quality as, you, as the conventional products. So they really are drop-in solutions. So they can replace the existing crate um, uh, just um, when using a different feedstock. So that's very beneficial also for our customers because then they don't need to uh, do requalification or quality checks on those products again. So now let's get started. What we first do is uh, get rid of a part of the fossil feedstock that we don't need. So I'm getting that out of this um, uh, bowl uh, like this. And then um, I'm adding the sustainable or circular feedstock in, um, like this. And then I'm starting to mix that. And then what you see is that it is completely mixed. And we are filling one bowl with a great, so this is a product, a plastic um, uh, with the sustainable feedstock and then this is a product or a plastic with the conventional feedstock. So here you see they actually contain the similar amount of or, or, or quite similar amount of sustainable feedstock and fossil feedstock but only one we can sell as uh, circular and the other one we just have to sell as, as fossil because uh, only this amount of sustainable feedstock we have put in and according to the mass balance, this is also the amount of, of product or feedstock that we can allocate to the final product. For this, we need um, a certification. So what we do is we have ISC plus certification, which is actually checking uh, this whole mass balance system uh, for us, but also in the rest of the value chain. So in that way, we get um, uh, traceability of these feedstocks all the way from the beginning of the value chain. Uh, as well, uh, meeting certain sustainability requirements that ISC Plus is setting and checking throughout that chain. So to conclude, we can already use our existing production facilities to start using these sustainable feedstock in those facilities, cost-effective, integrated. Um, as well, we avoid that we have to build a parallel um, new value chain to, to start with these sustainable feedstocks. Um, as well, by using uh, the mass balance approach and, and those existing facilities, we are already pushing out the fossil feedstock uh, in the same assets. So in that way, we are gradually um, uh, transitioning to a fully circular economy. And in this way, we can start the transition to a circular economy today. I hope this example was clear. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.